In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the complete setup of your Epson Workforce printer. Now the first step is to switch on the printer. So plug in the power cable and press the power button. Go to the printer control panel. So this is a touch screen printer. Select your language English. Select the country of residence. Select if it's a winter or summer time. Select the date format. Now you can enter the date. Select the time format and select OK once you enter the time. Next step is to install the setup in cartridges. So open the ink chamber, lift it from this side. Now take the ink cartridges out of the plastic packaging and place one by one so black goes here so you just have to match the alphabet color and just make sure the seal is facing down install all four in cartridges one by one so just place it here and press it down so it's easy to install now press this chamber down and it will lock itself go to the printer display panel Wait for the ink system to start. Next step is to load the paper. Paper tray is here. You can slide it out. Adjust the size from here. Press OK. Just check if the information is correct. So that's letter size plain paper. OK. If you want you can do the setup of the fax. Or you can do the setup later. That's the main screen of our printer. So now we are going to do the wireless setup. So scroll ahead and look for the setting icon. Click on the general settings, network settings, Wi-Fi setup, select Wi-Fi recommended, start setup, Wi-Fi setup wizard. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter its password using the touch display panel. Click on the start setup. Printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Click on the close. Press the home button. If you want you can participate in the customer research or you can reject it. Next step is to install this printer in a smartphone, Macbook or your laptop and do the wireless printing and scanning. For example, I am just going to use my iPhone. Go to the iPhone and open the Epson iPrint app. You can download this app from the App Store. In this app, we have to add the printer. So click on the home icon on the top. Select it again. On the next screen, you will see your Epson Workforce printer. Select it. Also select keep using Epson iPrint app. It will display the estimator level of ink. Now go to the home and now we can start using it for printing and scanning. So this way we can do the setup of this printer and now we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning. For example to print a document you just open any document you have. Select it. Click on the print. Instantly it will start the printing. Paper output tray is here. Let's see the print result. So that's the print quality. So it can do the automatic two-sided printing. Now in case you want to do the scanning, you have to go back and click on the scan icon. You can place a page on the top ADF tray or you can use the scanner bed as well. Once you are ready, just click on the scan and it will transfer the scan as well.
now we can save it share it so this way we can do the setup of this printer and then we can start using it thanks for watching